everyone. John Chow here from johnchow.com and welcome to another episode of Driving with John Chow. Um, believe it or not, I am driving a brand new car. This is my, uh, my new Tesla Model X. <laughs> yeah, and uh, if unless you're a super Tesla fan, you cannot tell this Model X from my old Model X because uh, I ordered it in the same color combination black exterior with a white vegan leather interior so uh i'm driving around and everyone thinks it's the same old car <laughs> but uh i have a video showing what has happened or what has changed in the car over the past two and a half years uh, while it looks the same there are subtle differences and performance differences and ride and all this kind of stuff it it, it uh, yeah but anyway I'll, I'll have a video on that on that soon but for today I want to talk about a drop shipping and how you can make money or take advantage or should you even bother with a, a drop shipping business. I got a I got a well I got a, a question from a reader from a viewer from that so thank you very much for for that question. Anyway, uh, for those who don't know, what a drop shipping business is 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 similar to an, having an affiliate marketing business like it has a lot of the advantages, but also has some disadvantages. So basically what it is, is you're selling a hard good, like an actual product, instead of a, like a virtual product, like an information product, you're selling a, an actual product. But instead of you stocking the product or producing a product yourself, it's manufactured by somebody, a supplier. But instead of you stocking a product in your place of business, you would have it held by the product maker or the supplier. He would hold it, and when you get an order, instead of you shipping it out, you send the order to the supplier, or in this case, the drop shipper, and the, and the drop shipper will then ship it for you to your customer using your label. So it looked like it, looked like it came from you, uh, the package and everything, and for the customer on the other end, they're none for wiser. They think, oh, I ordered it from John Chow, I got it from John Chow. But in actuality, my drop shipper or my supplier ship it out for me. So it has a, the advantage of online marketing or internet marketing in that you don't have to uh, ship the product, you don't have to fulfill the product, you basically create the marketing campaign, sell it, order comes in, goes to the drop shipper, drop shipper ships the product. So now that's the advantages of drop shipping. Generally, um, drop shipping by itself cannot be a sustainable business just by itself. Most business use drop shipping as part of the overall business model. The reason for this is you cannot get the best pricing when you're drop shipping. Because look, look at this way: when you're drop shipping, you're doing one product at a time, one product at a time, and your supplier is not going to give you a bigger discount if you buy one versus buying an inventory amount. So therefore, your wholesale cost is going to be higher than a than a business who can afford to buy it in bulk. You know, like I said, you're, you're just like, you know, you're not gonna get, I'm not gonna get this cheaper than Amazon. Because Amazon's gonna buy this by the caseloads, right? So, generally for job shipping, you want to use pr sell products that are not super competitive. Because if it is super competitive, you can't compete. Because your price is gonna be higher than someone who buys inventory, all right? So that's the first, that, that's, that's, the, that's the main, disadvantage of drop shipping. And then there are other problems as the inventory, whether not a drop shipper has it in stock and that kind of stuff. The way the way most businesses will make money with drop shipping is is they'll do a combination. Like oh they use drop shipping as a start to start the business. And that's great. Drop shipping you start the business doesn't require that much uh, low inventory, doesn't require that much startup cost, and you reinvest your money into your business. That's the way they do it. And eventually what happens is uh, you would use drop shipping as a part of your overall marketing. Like in your online business that sells, you have a range of products to sell. And what would you do is the products that are selling well, you would stock inventory of it so you can get a better price. And the products that are not selling well, you have your drop shipper ship it for you because then that's the way to do it. Now, of course, stocking the inventory and stocking the inventory and holding it requires warehouse space or storage space requires 
processing, shipping, that kind of stuff. And, and it's not, that's kind of feels like a job and it's not really the dot-com lifestyle, not really internet marketing. Now it's more like a regular business and, and not much into regular business. So, but there are ways around that. You can use a fulfillment service like uh, Amazon, we're probably the most famous, the uh, Amazon FBA program called FBA, stands for Fulfilled by Amazon. And Amazon, uh, they will do exactly that, what I just talked, handle, they will stock the product for you. When an order comes in, they'll stop a shipping label and they'll ship it. So Amazon in a sense is the drop shipper, but not really a drop shipper, but they can, the fulfillment service. So you would have your manufacturer who makes the product for you, let's say in China, they would create the product, they'll ship it to the Amazon warehouse uh, located throughout the United States, and Amazon will store the product, and you can list your product on Amazon. Uh, once it gets sold, Amazon ships it out for you and gives you the report and you get the money. So it has, it has the advantages of your own business without having a lot of headaches. So, and that's how most online businesses that sell hot goods well, I wouldn't say most, but that's how a lot of online businesses that sells hard good work if they want to maintain like a no foot, no storefront footprint. So they have an online store that sells a whole bunch of product. The popular products are stored by Amazon warehouses and the fulfillment is done by Amazon's FBA service. And then for products that are, don't sell too well, they use a drop shipper that will send to manufacturer and drop ship directly. And that is, uh, and I, I, I guess, I mean, I could talk for hours about this, it's, it's, this entire course is on this kind of stuff. And if you, yeah, maybe, uh, yeah, the, the current course that's available for this is, uh, I don't have it on top of my head, but I tell you, if there is an Amazon course that you can, that will teach this. So just do a, just do a search on drop shipping business or fulfilled by Amazon. And I'll, I'll, I'll link to fulfilled fulfill by Amazon below this video and you can find out more about it. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make a link to a dropshipping course as well below this video. And uh, yeah, if, uh, if I dig it up, all right? So that, that that's basically it. Like the dropshipping can be a good business, but as a business by itself as a whole, it probably will not work. It probably not work. It just like, it goes back to affiliate marketing where I say that most affiliate marketers, you know, they, they they choose one product from an affiliate network and they spend money to promote that one product, hoping to make money from the one product. But the actual, and the actual fact is, you're not gonna make money from one product. You need to develop a complete business where you have a range of product in different prices, capturing the customer, nurturing that customer, building relationships with that customer, so that customer buys from you over and over again. And a dropshipping business, same thing. Same thing, same thing. All right, hope that helps you guys. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like that. But uh, please like and share this video. And if you're a first time viewer, it would help me a lot if you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. See you guys next time.